I borrowed 15 DVDs and two Blu-rays today from my local library. A24 movie released on the Apple TV Plus service and was released on DVD by Lionsgate. And this is one of the few movies from Apple TV Plus that get a physical media release. Never heard of this movie before. Destination Films movie, Come with Wonderful Films, which that's the same company that made The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, interestingly enough. This is a movie that I might check out right here, since it looks interesting. Orion Pictures movie, Call Me a Braun Creative. It was released on DVD by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Not in the US, but Canada and Ireland. I did the opening to this on Nuvo. And this movie also aired on VRAC as well. Which, coincidentally, the day that this aired on Nuvo was actually the day VRAC ceased operations. So that's pretty ironic. Universal movie, Call Me a Blumhouse. On both VRAC and Nuvo, this had the extremely rare language, violence, and nudity viewer advisory. Even though this movie plays only Plus Pont Violence on MCC. I heard this movie is not very good at all. So I'm not even going to bother with it. Only borrowed it just to do the opening. Reborrow. Canadian movie from Elevation Pictures, released in the US by IFC Films. I did the opening to this on Spedic, huh? ATM Plus in Quebec. R in Canada, not only US, but France. And this is actually the very first movie to receive the NC 17 rating in the US. Although it was originally given an X rating, but. By the time this movie was released in theaters, they changed it to... The rating was changed to NC-17. And I don't think anyone's done the opening to this DVD, so I figured I might as well go ahead and do it. Did the opening to this on Nuvo. This is a movie that I do want to check out as well. As for Henry and June, this is the... One of two movies that I borrowed today that was R in Canada. The next one I'll show in a little bit. France, Thailand, and Hong Kong movie from Europa Corp. Released in the U.S. by Magnolia Pictures. And it was released on DVD by Alliance, by Alliance Films. Did the opening to this on Craven Spec, huh? Sorry for the jump cut. My mom interrupted me. Columbia Pictures movie. Columbia Broad Creative. Not only U.S., but Canada. This is the director's cut of True, True Romance. R in Canada. Morgan Creek Productions will be released by Warner Brothers. Also rated says on the Pont Fiedos. And this movie is written by Quinn Tarantino, which is pretty cool. IFC Films will be released on DVD by Emma Pictures. Not only US, but France. Case for this one's not in the best condition. Orion Pictures will be released on DVD by Universal under Studio Distribution Services. Also made by Ilon Productions, which is the same company that's best known for the James Bond movies. Quebec movie. This 
one still comes with its original DVD guide, which is pretty cool. Scene, select and, scene selection thing. And here's the two more DVDs left, actually. I did you me to this on, I think I did it on Craven's and Super huh? Not only US, but I believe G France, Germany, and the UK, but I, I can't remember since I'm not that good at memorizing. Released in the US by Neon. It was released on DVD by Elevation Pictures. Last DVD. This is a movie that I really want to check out since I do like Breaking Bad. Netflix movie released on DVD by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. And now for the two Blu-rays, which these are both from Universal. I heard this movie is supposed to be terrible. But I figured I'd give it a try since the star is Michael Fassbender. Coming a work title. I believe this is also a British co-production. And now for the last Blu-ray and media for this update. And this one I have a couple of things to say. Yep, I did borrow the Exorcist Believer. Which this movie I saw in theaters back in October of last year. And this movie fucking sucked ass. Coming up Blumhouse and Morgan Creek Entertainment. Yeah, this movie was a pile of fucking shit. And in my opinion, I think this might be the worst movie of 2023.